So let's start with a song. And once again, I have a screen here. And I'm going to look for all the information that's specific to a song. And so, obviously, the song has a title. And now, even though it's not showing on the screen here, I don't see anywhere here where it says the identifier, the ID of the song. I'm going to assume that it does, because I know that everything has an identifier. Every information item is going to have an identifier. And so I'm just going to put that in there by, um, uh, by intuition. Now, I also see the lyrics on the screen here, so I'm going to put in a little quality for lyrics. And then there's something I also know about Pandora, which I'll share with you, which is kind of cool about Pandora. In fact, it is the cool thing about Pandora, that the way that they're able to slide from song to song to song is that they find other songs with similar qualities. So the rhythm, the tempo, the, ten the kind of voice, is it a female voice or a male voice? Is it sort of sad? Is it upbeat? All of those things are qualities of songs, and they actually have gangs of people that are going through each song and attaching those qualities. They don't find those qualities automatically, or at least they don't find most of them automatically. They have people that go through and tag, add that information to each song, and that's how Pandora is able to go from song to song to song. It might be something that you already know. So here's my model. Here's my information model of a song, mostly derived from what I see on the screen here, title, lyrics, ID, and, and uh, title, title and, and lyrics for sure, and some that I happen to know about Pandora that I wanted to add here just to exemplify some things that we've had in class. So I have the user interface again, I have the information model again, and I have also the attributes. Title is one sentence, right? That's about all I can say about it. The ID, I'm going to assume is a sequential number. I don't know how they do IDs, but let's just make believe they do sequential numbers. Lyrics, on the other hand, is multiple sentences. Title is one sentence, lyric is multiple sentence, and qualities are very interesting. One or more values from a list that Pandora has developed. So somewhere in the back room of Pandora, they're deciding what are all the different qualities that you guys, you taggers, you people who are working for us, can assign to each song. Here's the list. There's 100 of them or 200 of them or 1,000 of them, whatever it is. And so they have a controlled list. They control that list of values for the qualities attribute. That's one interesting thing about the qualities attribute. Another interesting thing about the qualities attribute is that there's more than one of them, or they can be more than one of them. Only got ever going to be one ID, only going to be one title, only going to be one lyrics, but there could be many, many qualities. Okay, so what this screen shows is a basic model of what a song is. Now, notice what I don't have in this model. I don't have the band, Flogging Molly. I don't have the, um, the recording, Swagger. Um, and I also don't have, oh, did I forget? Im no, I'm sorry. I don't have image. This is the image of the band. Excuse me, this is the image of the um, recording. None of that is part of the song. We're going to talk about how that stuff is put together in a little while. But what I want you to see from this example is I'm only focused on the song and things that are specific to the song, not things that are specific to the band the song belongs to or anything like that. Okay, so so far we have the we have a person and we have a song. And they're both relatively simple models. And as I said, probably Pandora has a more sophisticated model. But for our purposes right now, this will more than do it. And the reason that I'm showing you this, the reason that it's important is because it's an example of how you can look at Pandora in two ways. You can look at it as somebody who's just consuming music, but you can also look at it as an architect trying to take it apart, trying to figure out what the pieces are, and specifically in this case, the pieces of information. We could take it apart looking for the pieces of the user interface, which we've done before. We've, we've had examples of this. In this case, we're looking for the pieces of information, and we're trying to figure out how is it all organized, how is it all put together on 